Well, hello everyone, it's Liam Carlson here with another episode of Person of Interest, with episode number six of season two. Um, so yeah, it's been great stuff this season so far, really enjoyed it, and of course we had uh, a bit of a continuation with HR, of course, uh, with that last episode, finding out who is calling the shots there, and uh, yeah, it was very, very uh, great stuff, a great revelation, considering uh, that uh, we saw uh, that person um, prior to the grand reveal, of course, but um, yeah, I didn't think anything of it until, I guess, that moment dropped. It all makes sense, of course. There's a, there's a little bit of exposure, so keep... Uh, and, of course, with this episode trying to dig deep into, you know, who's running the... Um, who's who's calling the shots really at hr yeah but uh it was really really solid stuff and i really enjoyed it so um yeah but um yeah, i'm excited to get into this episode so with that said let's get into episode number six of season two for person of interest let's go machine to find bad people i had to teach it people in general i programmed it to identify outliers yeah individuals who are interesting in some way or some would say a person of interest hey, no offense Harold, but some no, no anomalies that i can see so why did it show her to us isn't that the isn't that who uh finch was with before he had to before he died oh well at least the machine showing us it has good taste Ah. <laughs> what did we discuss about boundaries? <laughs> oh. to a zip code. I'll get eyes on the family. I wouldn't go back to this place. I don't know. Beth seems to approve. <laughs> you get that a bit of a secret there, bitch. Tickets to Bruce Springsteen. Well, front row seats for mom's birthday. Awesome. Uh. Kind of lame, Dad. Well, how about this then? Oh, he, look the <laughs> smile! Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. All right, Finch, this guy's the same. What? So sure. I took yeah, what is going on? Passing through, actually. Unfortunately, not fast enough. You know, no parking zone. Uh. Anyway, you can let me off with a warning. <laughs> Social, I pay this out of petty cash. <laughs> To tell someone in the sub. There's one element of your cover that you'll have to acquire on your own. Oh? Hey! Zoe! Of course! Of course! Not exactly. Zoe Morgan? Oh! <gasps> no! I can't even be like, you know. Ah, happy day, because it's, I guess, not legit, but, ah! <laughs> it's part of the cover! It's a straight. Once we've established contact, we'll be able to manipulate the family into... Oh. John, it's a doorbell. <laughs> Let's try not to shoot any girl scouts on the first day, okay? <laughs> first instinct. <laughs> I started Hi. blasting. Figured out. So I've had to get people into my store. It's getting harder and harder to keep up with the big box chains. No one appreciates an honest man trying to make a living. Oh, just dig Drink deep. Oh, and I he he kind of stole that. Ooh. Oh, that's... We've been there, why? This postcard came. <laughs> Part of his past. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Wireless. Part of his past coming back. Sure. Yeah. Damn, that is really, really. Yeah, that is really, really crap. Damn, John. Carter. You think you can run a print for me? That is incredible. Me. In or out? Dear. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> this could all up on the sofa. Right. Two pair. What's Finch doing, by the way? Because he's all alone. Hey. Sorry about that, Lloyd. You know that guy? 
No, he must have confused me with Lloyd. Something. You hear that, Finch? Sounds like more than a case of mistaken identity. Ah. Uh. Busted on. Vaughn shot an unarmed guard. He's dangerous. Oh, shit. Thanks for your help, Carter. Good job. Yeah, he's just trying to run from his past, but... My God. Wow. What the hell? Sucks Even blocked it. Away. Nice running into you today, though. What do we All we know it could be a couple of teenagers. How are we doing, Harold? Ah! Almost finished, boss. <laughs> okay, well, I was on crew attempt to gain access to the house. Oh, we'll that, yeah. Well, boss. It's been smart so far. Manager to open the safe. The one job Wiley didn't show up for. He was the safe cracker. Yeah. Bailed on the last job. They had to they improvise. Him for getting locked up. And for that. Detail, though, no doubt. Phone calls. What's going on with you? Nothing you need to worry about. Graham, there's something going on you think you can't tell. Whenever you me. say that, Whatever. then you do start Whatever worrying. It is, we'll figure it out together. I'll be back in a few hours. She's going to be so lost. Seems that Wilder's past threatens not only his life, but his marriage as well. Ah, improvise. Oh, that? you didn't even, oh! <laughs> to find someone you can depend on. Oh no, he's thinking about, yeah. Oh. Ready to have some Oh fun? no, my heart. I'm not here for this. Good at connecting people to She's honest, decent, doesn't seem to have any dark secrets, doesn't just, harbor ill yeah. will toward anyone. Trying to live a best life. That's what sets her apart. She's 12 years in the Framhold State Penitentiary. Was it 12? Felt longer. Yeah, felt like 50. That's my fault. I told you the job was dangerous. But you thought you were invincible. Ooh. And that's why I want. How noble. The way we see it, you owe us. What, because you didn't listen to common sense? So, not you two right now. Shit. Yeah, here comes the big. Yeah, uh, you stole the necklace. It's a lovely home. Dick. Something with a heartbeat. Yeah, there comes the big boy frets. Remote to people like us, Mr. Reese, but Wyler still has a chance to preserve his. Graham, are you in here? Graham. Aww. Check the canvas, Finch. Can that safe? Fun's got no reason to keep him alive. No. It's the ultimate satisfactory way to deal with Finch, someone who wronged you. Is. What's that a mask for me? Yeah, I guess so. I must have miscounted. Sorry, buddy. Jesus Christ. Sure. And what's with that oh, look? Wait, yeah, wait, why did you have it down, then up again, then down? Probably just fixing it because he knew he looked like a complete dumbass. Faith. <laughs> you haven't had the pleasure of meeting on Detective Carter. No, they Sorry. haven't. John's wife. <laughs> oh, no, they have not seen each other. Police have got hostages and there are two other armed men. I don't think you're going to be able to simply walk through the front door. Could if he was... Yeah. He's going in through the window. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay, maybe he's not going in through the window. Oh, that's so cold! That's so cold! Well, it's just like Batman in the, you know, top corner, isn't it? Before they show up, what's the situation like upstairs? Delicate. Ooh. If he's alerted the cops, that's it then, we're out of here. Not until you open that safe. Do you want to go to jail again? Because that's what's going to happen if you stay here. What did you start what you wanted? shots? All that's changed. Common sense, this is what got you, uh, the lack of it got you in jail in the first place. Start yourself a new one. This will square it up. Nice. Oh, oh, in the knee. 
Come on, come on, Wyla. Oh, oh shit! If you do this, you'll be right there with him. What's Connie gonna do then? Oh. Wise words, wise words. Don't I get too smiley. You. you were always. Yeah! That's what you get for big mouthing. You have to do this. Yeah, I do. Oh, uh, Graham. Wyler's done hiding Finch. He just turned himself in. Shit. He may have decided to turn himself in, but you need to get out of Stop. Uh, I'm like you. I'm stuck here, literally. The judge didn't think I was a danger to society, so... I get to pay my debt mowing the lawn. Graham, oh well. Oh the well. Making I was gonna say, how. Oh. This is the part where we get divorced. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't work out. Oh, come on. Come on. No, we still have some scotch left. Give her that ice cream. Give her the. Oh. Uh, my heart. Hello. Hello. Ah. <laughs> oh. It is as, like when you think back to that, like I guess ending ish. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was coming towards the end of that episode, but. Of course, you did have sympathy there, didn't you? When it came to um, Harold and how he used to have someone uh, that, you know, meant the world to him. Um, and just, I even though it was a fake relationship, just Zoe and John and you've got um, Graham with Connie. Especially with the fact that she's a redhead as well, I guess. Um, it it just it just hit really. So yeah, yeah. I really loved um, going through this story because uh, yeah, it's not going to stand out and all of that. Like by the end of the season, I'm not going to you know reflect on this episode and say you know what this one you know stands out so much. Um, but I think it's just a testament that even lower key episodes and all of that are just very, very well done and very, I don't know, uh, you, you, you find a lot to enjoy um, with episodes like these. So, yeah, because it, like the scenario setting the stage and all of that for Reese and Zoe, I guess. And it's great to see a two two episodes on the trot. That's awesome. Uh yeah, the yeah, setting that scene up was just a delight as well. Uh especially when you when I know that the ship between John and Zoe, I guess, will be acknowledged and all of that. Like people will want Zoe and John to be together and all of that. Um so yeah, that pro that proposal, yeah. Um was nice. Wasn't like, um, you know, uh, ripping my heart to shreds in a good way, uh, because obviously you knew it was part of a cover. Then again, that didn't stop me with a, a similar kind of situation in Doctor Who, so. Um, but that's another story. <laughs> um, no, it was just it was just really really great stuff, um, and of course the person of interest in this episode. Um, there was a very very interesting story that followed uh, for for him. So yeah, but um, overall I thought that this was pretty pretty great stuff. Uh, even the flashbacks as well. Uh, the machine almost playing matchmaker really for for Finch. So. Yeah, th that's it though. The machine, like, uh, what was it? Eight hundred uh, day, uh, the eight hundred day mark. Um, the machine has learned a lot, and has learned a lot about Finch and how to the point where it's like you need someone, bud. <laughs> so, no, um, it was great to see Grace again. Like, um, uh, like I said, uh, we d there was that like moment where you're just feeling so so heartbroken for Finch way back in um season one of course 
uh, when you discovered the prospect that they were together when Finch died. Um, and yeah, of course, the whole idea was like, of course, Finch is testing out the machine uh, even further. So, yeah. But uh, it was just very, very, um, it, yeah, it was just very, very great that you had the machine basically be like, um, well, I wouldn't say wing manging <laughs> Finch and all of that, but um, it was um, it was playing matchmaker essentially, um, which led to that final scene. Um, because I think it spanned over the course of three years the interest in uh, Grace. Um, so. Yeah, I believe that first flashback with Nathan um, was in 2004. And then um, we got to 2006, and then that's when, yeah, he approached her. So, But it's also very, very sweet as well when it comes to the fact that there is that acknowledgement that um, they, are, they are together in real life as well. It's not just in the show, but it's... In real life, uh, that was a nice little fact that I was aware uh, that 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 was brought to my attention uh, when we first saw Grace. Um, was that um, her actress and Michael they are together in real life? So it's like um, really, really nice. So the chemistry is already there, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, it was um, it was really, really great to go into that flashback. But again. Um, I feel like when it corresponds to present day scenarios, um, you kind of just feel a bit bad in a sense for, for Finch, um, especially with the fake relationship there and the real relationship. And uh, there is a sense uh, like there was a, a, like a moment where he did look very, very dejected in the present day and all of that as if. Um, he is being reminded of Grace and all of that because he still sees her. She doesn't see him, of course, but um, yeah. So, um, but yeah. I mean, I do feel like she's gonna find out that he is um, still alive or, or somewhat. Um, yeah, I don't know. But we'll just have to wait and see what does happen because I kind of want. I mean, I kind of want uh, there to be a reunion of sorts, but, you know, uh, at the end of the day, there is a reason why Finch is keeping his distance, so... Um, and you just worry that, well, with that reunion in the present, yeah, it's not going to be a happily ever after, is it? So, yeah, but... Um, yeah, it, uh, it was just really, really great stuff, so... Yeah, but yeah, great to see Zoe again. I really loved the contribution she pulled uh, in this episode, being uh, the wife, of course, and, um, you know, fitting in with the um, blending in option really, really well. So, yeah, um, even getting into the thick of it in the main event uh, action, I guess, when it came to... Um, uh, w when, when it came to Graham having to uh, side with those... Uh, with, with his... Um, past criminals really so yeah and having to as well um because he was either gonna jeopardize his family which was an absolute slam dunk no-go or it was gonna be himself so and uh you know he's adapted as well and it's not just that though but it seems to me like with his um former crewmates and all of that getting locked up. It seemed like um, with his partners, they didn't listen to common sense because it seemed like Graham told um, them that... Because uh, there was a little bit of a discussion when they met at the bar about their, incomp uh, about their incompetence, how he said uh, he wasn't wanting to recommend the job etc but they went ahead anyways and that got themselves in prison so um yeah but and 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 i think when it came to what was happening in the like i said main event action um there was moments where um of course as well as to you know try to 
um, distance himself from breaking into the safe as well. But there was, again, a moment where common sense wasn't hitting his partners. So, yeah. Um, but it was really, really great that, um, like I said, that he did get a good-ish... Uh, well, I say a good ending, uh, given the circumstances. Because he was going to... He, he did turn himself in. Um, and he could have ran from it. Uh, John even said you could just go back to your family and all of that. But he rather would have faced his own past and all of that in regards to realizing that I can't keep running anymore. And it's not fair on my family. And I need to uh, face my past, which means turning myself in. So, um, and it was a very, very uh, honest move for him to make. But like I said, given the circumstances, there is that like, um, there is that great ending for him because, yeah, he's not locked away. He he is on house arrest, of course, but he is still with his family, and they have uh, embraced him again. So, um, you know, given things, it, it's a really really good ending there for um for Graham. Um, so yeah, and, you know, I thought, okay, well, he's going to get locked up and all of that, but of course, with the, um, acknowledgement that he's no, in no, um, position to be a, of a threat, or to be considered a threat, should I say, um, yeah, he, uh, basically, uh, got fortunate, so, yeah, and I don't find that, um, unbelievable whatsoever, um, because that's it, though, this story really really painted graham in a very very good light um despite his you know shady past connections and all of that but he wanted to dis he wanted to be a better person he wanted to uh, like john with his past and all of that it's all about that like idea of becoming a better person in the present so um there is uh there is that and you know, he he looks back at the past and wishes he could uh, do things a little bit differently. Um, and, yeah, it uh, for me, I don't see it as unbelievable with the fact, like I said, yeah, he, he is depicted in a very, very good like, uh, light, and we do like him. Um, but, you know, when John, when um, his partners got their ass kicked and all of that, um, you've got a bunch of witnesses there that could have like, for, like they could have damned him, but they saw he had a, a gun to the back of his head and all of that. Like he, they would have been asked, "What did he look pressured and all of that?" And they would have said, "Yeah, it looked like he had a gun to the back of his head, basically." Uh, and he did uh, fend off the um, others and all of that. So, yeah. Um, I don't know how it would have gone down in court and all of that, but like I said, I think with the witnesses, they did see they did see someone who was um, ultimately wanting to protect them. That he looked like he had, like he was coerced into this and all of that. And of course, Graves' statement as well, um, as well as the fact that you know he's looking out for his family. So, um, and when push came to shove, he wasn't going to have these. Uh, assholes basically come for his family so he had to do something that he didn't want to do and yeah so hey but you know overall this was a pretty fun episode to endure um it was really really great yeah it might not have too much going on plot wise but uh, it was really really good to go through in my in my mind because uh um it was very enjoyable very fun and um very neat stuff especially the flashbacks as well so um yeah but um yeah, not too bad this episode. So I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles!